Germany crowned champions of the football world this week, but amid the celebrations, more worrying data suggesting the German economy is on a losing streak. This is the payback for the overproduction, uh, the over uh, ability to export that we saw throughout the final part of the last year, early part of this year. So basically Germany is just mean reverting back to a lower yield. That, however, of course, have huge consequences for Europe because imagine I'm right and Germany is a 0% growth by Q1 of 2015. Where would that leave France? Where would that leave Spain? Where would it leave all of this inability for Europe to move forward in terms of growing out of the problem from the growth side? Then we will have to face the inevitable, which is to write out debt and we will have you know, either a asset tax for you and me as taxpayers or we will have the bond payers to pay through uh, the uh, cut in, in, in their bond prices. But why all the doom and gloom? After all, investors are seeing plenty of signals suggesting the Eurozone is returning to growth. I, I think the mood has changed dramatically over the last two weeks. You now have uh, Chancellor Merkel uh, being a World Cup winner, but she's still uh, advocating and, and, and alerting the rest of Europe that, that this, is the, this unsustainability of the debt level is still too high. Of course, this has been brought on by the Portugal uh, banking mini crisis we are seeing this week and last week. Uh, so certainly uh, the, the politicians turn around. And I will also say even among my, my learned and esteemed colleague, they are finally owning up to the fact that Germany's growth was uh, beyond and, and above the average. So now we need to average down. That means we'll have a, a very, very poor performance for the German economy despite the World Cup win.